Saud. You were the pilots. Oh, that's right. All of them. Dude, the <laughs> not every one of them. Not every one of them. The House but, of Saud but, is but we didn't attack Saudi Arabia. hanging on because of us. No, Listen, we should have. He, here's. Yeah. But wait, wait. One we, thing at a time. So, you're saying poverty. In, Saudi Arabia has a lot of money. It doesn't matter. Because it doesn't matter. Bin Laden's a billionaire. Be, Al Zawahari was a surgeon. It doesn't matter let, about the money. Let me ask you a different question. How how do how are we supposed to prevent terrorist attacks? Uh, that's a. Uh, uh, but if anyone knew that, it would be great. But it's not. But people do not, have a lot of ideas on but how it's to do not that. Yes, by, right? It's not by letting mosques go up everywhere and um, not protesting and not showing signs or imagery of this hate and Islamophobia. It, that's not it. That Because just us living, us driving cars that uh, are nice, us uh, having women that aren't wrapped up in bed sheets walk I, around listen, I don't, in bikinis. I don't necessarily that, disagree with I don't necessarily that. disagree with those and things. And want us killed. There, and there's nothing we're going to do about changing the way yeah, we live. Should we do that? I think that women we should. I think, I, think, I, I think we should care less about all the shit that we buy, I think it's kind of gross in a way. And you know, granted, I'll sell out as soon as I have some money to buy a nicer car. Uh, but, but at the same time, we. I'm not saying that the things you said are wrong. But why pour a lot more fuel on the flames by saying you can't do this? You can't practice your religion here. I'm not saying, uh, that. Not saying that. You at are all. not saying. A lot of people are saying no, that. No, no one is saying that. No one. No, no one, one is saying Everyone that. is acknowledging they do have. A legal right yep. uh, uh, under our constitution to absolutely people are holding up Hamas. signs that say uh, things about Islam. They, so what? Of they course. burn effigies about George Bush. They it burn, doesn't they matter burn what flat, they do, Jimmy. Point they're I'm they're making, not America. Wait, wait, we are a much better, more open country. Again, that Come and on, that's who cares our arrogance. What they do? Well, that's the arrogance of America. We're better. We should dictate to you. We should figure out why you behave so naughtily and somehow uh, take responsibility for it. I don't have that arrogance. I don't care why they act a certain way. If they're minding their business, we should fucking mind ours. It's very simple. The way, how come we're not invading over the fact that they're fucking throwing rocks at their, at their women for, for uh, uh, rape victims are being fucking killed? They're barbarians in a lot of those places. Uh, uh, right. So I don't want to hear about how we, the U.S. should try to win hearts and minds. Said, I don't care. You just said how, w when they start being like us, right? No, I didn't. What, what did if you I just say? I don't know what did I said. <laughs> what, 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 exactly what you just said. The point I'm making is the U.S. holds up protest signs. People don't like something, and we're so ingrained. Political correctness has so ingrained us to believe. Don't speak honestly about what's bothering you. Right, right. I don't want to see any signs that say Muslims should be killed. Honestly, I don't want to see that kind of shit. It's but when they're holding up a bunch of signs saying that they don't like the fact they're angry at Islam, good, be angry at Islam. Why is it such a peaceful religion when all these acts are committed no in the name of it? It's not even a, but it, that's not the point I'm making, and I'm not saying that people can't say however they feel. And you know, Jimmy, I'm not a politically correct guy. Or, no, I'm not saying you are. But, but that being said, it, the question is, how do we prevent future terrorist attacks? Well, one thing we can do is try, try to prevent uh, people from wanting to be terrorists we and we have we have active propaganda right now the CIA uses all the time to prevent that one of which is sending this guy who is the imam over to many muslim countries to, for a, a outreach it's a great the best place to practice islam is america is his message that's propaganda make no more mistake we're trying to convince them that being yes. a, a muslim in america is a great thing sure. that, that the CIA has a tough job the FBI has a tough job the other thing of course we can do is just spend a ton of money on counterintelligence. Spend and how a ton about of money on one it. time? This is what bothers me. No one says they don't have the legal right to practice their religion. And I spoke from personal spirit. I, but I, that's how it's interpreted, Jim. But that's, again, not my problem the way they interpret it. it. I can't, no, I, hold on. I can't spoon feed other grown ups. Sometimes they have to take responsibility for their own thinking. It's not the arrogant white America's responsibility to not only give them the message, but feed it to them slowly. Mm. No one is saying they cannot practice their religion. The government should not get involved. Offering them another place because it's in better taste. But how about for once Muslims realize, hey, look, we know we have the legal right to do it, but we also know maybe it comes off a little insensitive to victims' families. How about your, but how does it become insensitive? You're, we Jimmy, all know. You, you we guys all know. hate it when we you get painted. Know. You guys know. all hate we, it when you know. get painted the same way any other 
radio guys do. You can't mm. stand being lumped in. Jimmy, you can't stand being lumped in with some piece of shit hack comedian. For you to say that this guy but or Rich any boss. of the people... <laughs> are you going to tell me you don't understand, a billion Pete, people all on. think the same way. Pete, you understand... Just because people worship the same way Pete, we, you, hold on. does you, not mean they're going to... They want right, to attack but Catholicism is all taking the hit for the molestations. They're all and they, they shouldn't. But well, yes, they, they should, should. Because by, by allowing that to happen, by them not lashing out, by them not punishing priests, mm -hmm. they were in a way co signing it. Even though they weren't molesters, they were co-signing it, and they thought the better good was then the Then why isn't anybody religion. protesting a church being put up next They're to a school? billions of why dollars. Why isn't anybody protesting, based on your argument, a church being put up next to a I school can't or a speak. playground? I honestly cannot speak for why they're not protesting, but because they're not protesting... I don't see you out protesting at any playground. I'm not protesting anywhere, but I talk and I, say, I speak my mind, and you know why it's offensive. Even if you agree with the mosque going up and you think that the greater good is that freedom of religion should, in your mind, you know why it's offensive. Put it this I way. I don't know why yes, it's put offensive. It, put, it, put it this sure. way. Because they don't if, think that you... Go if, ahead, there, if there was a church going up next to a school where over 2,000 kids were raped in one day, there would be protests there about a church going up be. next door to the school. If, but if that's that, a if that's stupid happened. thing to say. No, it's because, not. Because, because you, 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 2,000 kids were raped battle. in your example. Yes, because 2,000 people were killed. <laughs> 3,000. Well, I'm talking at Ground Zero. You discounted 1,000 people. No, at Ground Zero. No, I'm not there talking was way the over 2,000, wasn't there? Not at Ground Zero. Yeah, yeah, it was like a little two, over 2,000. A little over 2,000. You hate those 800 right. people. It, yes, they <laughs> are. <laughs> they were awful people. They were probably At least a third of the people who died were. That's a great argument. You're right. A lot of Muslims died that day. A lot of Muslim first responders There's died in there, a couple. Well, well I, that just yeah. goes to show you the fucking savage nature of the terrorists. Uh, you know, we, we don't go and, and, and open fire on mosques in Afghanistan or in Iraq, yet they will run into a mosque with bombs strapped to them and, and kill everybody inside. But it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, religion. Uh, what I'm saying is you, you get a couple of thousand people that were killed. They, their families and, and people that were there don't want that reminder that but victory flag here's, the, that here's the argument that you guys are both kind of making though and that a lot of people are making and i think it's unfair and again i detest i detest defending islam or mm. any religion i think islam is reprehensible i think the old testament is probably more barbaric than the quran but that's only because i read it now i, I to put everybody that worships one god or says they belong to one religion in the same Painting them Absolutely all with the right. same brush. You're right. That's why it's not. That's why. Right. That's why no one is saying no, no. burn the mosques. No one is saying. You're saying no, they can't on. have that mosque no. there, Jimmy. You, you just said it. You're misquoting me. I. You, you, the word "can't" is a huge word, and I have not you said, said it once. You said "should." Not. Huge difference. Uh -huh. Huge difference. Shouldn't. I, I, I stand corrected. Shouldn't. He absolutely shouldn't. shouldn't and can't. Uh, it shouldn't implies it's their decision to make, and it's them saying we understand something. Fine. Can't means it's being legislated by then the I government and violating freedom of religion. Build Huge a, a, difference yeah, yeah. In, the, in those two words, man. Yeah, right, I agree. And, and I'm not saying sweeping brush. I agree with I'm not, you. But I'm not giving them a sweeping brush. I'm not saying round them all up and get them out of the country. I'm not saying fuck Islam, they shouldn't be able You're to practice. You're saying they shouldn't be I'm able saying, to build a mosque because of no, what? No, stop saying be able. Again, you keep putting words in my mouth. I'm saying from them, they should say, this is tasteless. We understand we have the right to do it. We mm. understand that legally and constitutionally, we have the right to do it. But we also understand, because we're, we're going to have common sense, why this is a little offensive or why it's upsetting to certain people. We want Islam and America to get along. We want this whole thing to work. We're, we're voluntarily moving it in the interest of taste. And What's, that would be a huge public relations then win. Get rid of, then so stop saying get, can't and couldn't. And sh I'm not saying that. Fair enough. What, should they then get rid of the other mosques downtown? No, because we all know the difference between something that existed before and something that is being built. We all know the difference. Again, we and it's know not a mosque. the difference. It's, a, it's a really cultural, a no, I mean, Have you ever been in a JCC? Uh, and uh, 79th Street in Amsterdam, it's awesome. Okay. It's got a great gym. It's uh, uh, it's got a, a theater. It's got all kinds of great Flight stuff. Flight simulator. It, <laughs> 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 that is true. I do disagree uh, with the why flight simulator. Why is it always simulator. us, though? Yeah. Opposed. Why is it always us but, who has but, to reach out with hearts and minds? Why doesn't, like, if Islam is, is, is embarrassed by this? Because we're better. See, again, I don't buy that American arrogance. Why, there's more of them than there are of us. A lot more Muslims we than have, Christians. The, we have, we're better than every other country in that our Constitution uh, gives us the freedom of speech, 
freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom yeah, to worship. Are we really better, that though? I mean, we practice one thing, we preach another, we tell other countries how to live. We were telling other countries how to live when fucking no, no, blacks you're couldn't about, vote. But Come on, on, you're talking about, about foreign people. policy. We're not I'm, talking about what, what, I'm talking about ideally what the Constitution says. And just what our Constitution says versus what the British Constitution says. That I hear from Canadians saying, you guys have freedom of press and freedom sure. of speech. That makes us better. That part of our Constitution makes us better. You're right. Do I we don't practice believe it? Makes it? Us not better. necessarily. I don't believe it makes us better. And I really don't because with that belief comes the arrogance that we know better. And with the arrogance that we know better comes this, this forcing our will on other people. And that causes all this resentment now and hatred. Now we're changing uh, no, roles in these arguments. I don't disagree with I what you're saying. I hate that. I believe I want our bases out of every other fucking country on this shitty planet. <laughs> and I don't care if they cut each other's throats every day of the week. I it's don't, not my I business. I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that at all. I don't. But we, it, it, we, we can't do that if we don't have another form of energy of, uh, outside of oil. I you do agree. Can't. You're right. But why, wouldn't, why can't Islam for once say, look, we understand why this is tasteless. Right. We do love this country. We were hurt by this, too. But you, we didn't realize it would be such a firestorm. We'll voluntarily move it. Do you know how much why New Yorkers can't would embrace? Why can't comedians just be original? Why can't all radio show hosts Okay, because comedians who aren't original are selfish, selfish motherfuckers. Right, you, but you just, you just fell into what I'm saying. You divided comedians who aren't original. And you, put, you said, why can't Islam for once? And you put over a billion people into one category. Well, I've, seen, I no, I've, I've seen differences in comedians. I've seen no difference in Islam other than levels of well, justification uh, for well, certain behavior. I'm not going to win that argument because if you haven't seen it, then it doesn't exist, Jim. I didn't say it doesn't exist, but I haven't but seen it. Because you haven't seen aware. it, be saying I haven't seen something is not a good argument. It's all I can argue from is what I know and what I've seen. Well, I'm not going to make should, up facts, you, but, dude, but just to win an argument. But if you read the 75 imam, articles a day on these things, then you'll know Okay, more. well, then you probably knew that this imam, who was a moderate five years ago, was saying that the U.S. has spilled more blood than al-Qaeda. And he was basically saying that al-Qaeda is better that's than... That's true. But the intent what he was saying, sure, we're an older country. What he was saying intent-wise was that the U.S. has no right to complain and that we somehow brought 9-11 ourselves. That's a very fucking subtle way that's, of him saying we brought it on ourselves. That's, and that's a moderate guy. That is not an, a, a controversial idea among... Muslims! No, among counterintelligence Sorry, and, and CIA and military members. That is not... A controversial that view. That we brought every, a CIA, on every CIA person I talk to on and off the record says the exact same thing. Well, Mike Baker did not say it. He's a CIA guy I know, and mm -hmm. he didn't feel this. He didn't feel that way at all. That we brought 9/11 on ourselves, and a lot of people I think note that I said every CIA uh, CIA guy I've talked to, right. not every CIA guy thinks. And I can only, again, I can only speak for the that's person fair. people no, I talk to, or the people I like that I know. That that's what I do. I argue I from my like own point it. of view. Pete, don't check your Twitter. Uh, You're down to nine followers. I just lost <laughs> followers. Oh, you, oh, you don't People even just know. <laughs> deleted. You don't, you don't even want to know. You started with 16 followers. You're down to but nine. But it's amazing oh, how. But this is how things yeah, get twisted yeah. up. <laughs> it's ugly. I'll get you back. But dude, There's a holy I'll get war going on Watch with your Twitter on CNN. right now. Yeah, yeah. But dude, in the middle of like, <laughs> like as we're talking, right? Look at how it gets twisted. You had me saying they can't or they shouldn't be able. When I was saying it's it's almost like, and you weren't doing it to be deceptive. But in this weird discussion, all of a sudden, my intent was completely yeah. changed from saying, why don't they reach out a little bit, hearts mm -hmm. and minds? And what you had me saying was, they should not be allowed, they should not be able, they can't. And I did not imply or say that. You're right. I miss, I miss uh, construed what you said. But, Pete, what would you say to the victims' families? Well, I've heard... Because they're I, the ones that are really you know, there's, affected there's a the lot most of, by this whole yeah, thing, right? I mean, listen, I, I wouldn't say anything to them, man. I wouldn't, because I don't pretend to, to imagine what it's like to lose someone, you know? Like, you know, this, this, this Cindy Sheehan, this lady who's protested, uh, you know, war. she lost her son yeah. uh, in, in Iraq, and a lot of people hate her. Listen, I have two kids. I don't pretend to know what it would be like to lose one of my children. I listen to the victims' families and what they say. And, you know, Ted Olson is this conservative uh, Republican lawyer who defended Bush and Bush v. Gore and helped him become the president, of course, right? And his wife, Susan Olson, Barbara Olson, I believe her name was, died on one of those planes. He said, I know this is going to make me popular, but I absolutely think that they should put that community center up exactly where they wanted to. So, sure. And then you, I, I think probably the majority of the victims' families are against it. I you think probably imagine, the majority right? of Americans yeah. are against it. We just, but the majority just, of, of New Yorkers are not. So it's, but you know, and the majority I don't, of New Yorkers are against it. Yeah, sure I are. thought they were. Sure they are. I would but, think. Well, we saw. I, I, I thought they were not. I thought it was 65. 
Around uh, 65%, last one I heard was 54%, right? and then it went up to like 62, uh, I 60 think. 60-something percent. I, I, I may be wrong. But you know what? I don't really care what polls think. You know, one in five Americans can't find America on a map and think that, you know, the sun revolves around the earth. So I don't – I mean, uh, you know, I, we deal with polls a lot, you know, in political shows, sure. and I just think that people are very 